I was live, but I forgot to add myself to the stage. Is this ridiculous? Okay, after all this time, I'm still screwing up. Hi, everyone. June from Walking with Lanes of Signs. Hello, you lovely creative people. It's going to be a night because I'm exhausted and crazy things happen when I'm exhausted. Okay, we have a lot to do tonight. And <clears throat> I'll show you. I changed this. Last time you saw it, it was, I was putting the orange ink on it. I decided I didn't like it, and I'm going to do something else, which I'll show you. Um, this is a piece of, these are the legs, and this is what I'm, I started to put a little orange trim because I thought that looked nicer. Hey, Joanne, how are you, sweetheart? So, I'm so glad you're here. Welcome. So, just to give you a preview of what we're going to try to accomplish tonight, <laughs> I'm not sure we're going to accomplish any of it, is I want to get the arms on this guy, this part. I also want to get the velvet trim like this on that part, on, on this part. And then um, I have to do feet because he's a little, with all the sand that I put in, he's a little hop, top, top heavy. And he seems to like to want to fall this way which is the front way. So if I put two polymer clay feet here, which I can bake and then attach, I think I could do that or I might decide to use a paper clay. I'm not sure because a paper clay is a pain. Hi, Shirley, how you doing? Come on in. Okay, so we have to do that. I have to do his belt after he gets on here. Um, and let me see, because his head's going on the small, and I have to do his arms, and I also have to do some hands for him. So there's a lot left, and i hopefully not going to, pro I probably am going to have to extend it one more video, but you know what? Let me turn this whole thing around, and let's get, oh, and I'm also in the middle at around 8 o'clock, if my sister comes on, I'm going to pull the names out of the hat for the people who commented on the live stream, I think two times ago to get the, the witch. So I have that all set up. So we have a few things to do. Hi, Cheryl, how are you? Oh, look, every, a lot of people are here. Not everyone, but a lot of people are here. Welcome. So let me switch my camera around so I can start. Let's get to settings. Let's do this. Hopefully I get it right and I don't want my camera mirrored. Okay, very good. Here we go. And let me pull up chat. I'm ready. I got top chat. I got what I'm doing. Hello, everyone. Let me move you over a little bit so I can see. Okay, so right now, we're not going to work on the feet with him. We're just going to wait a little bit. I want to start working on this part, which is his top. So we move this over. And let me move in more so everybody can see what I'm doing. The first thing I have to do is I want to do a pattern and what I usually do my patterns with is with paper toweling, paper towel, because it, it's got stiffness to it and it drapes. So this is two ply. We're trying to get it down to one ply. So glad all you ladies are here tonight. It was very hot in New York today, very hot, very humid. And uh, not as humid, humid as it is in the summer, but it was still very hot. And it wasn't enjoyable at all. Okay, let me see if I can get an idea of what the heck I'm doing. So I want this to come across like this. Once I get one done, I could do the other one real easy. It's just getting the first one done. Now, if I'm following the angle... Okay, I think that's too much of an angle, so I'm going to bring it in a little. I'm trying to follow, follow, follow the angle of this piece. It's not glued on yet because it would be more of a pain to work with it glued on. So we're not gluing it on. But what I need to do is, that's not really going to work with the angles, June. Okay, what I need to do, first of all, is cut this down a little bit 
because it's just too big and it's getting me annoyed. I need to move in. So just to chit chat while we're, I'm trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing here. Um, I got the video of my decorations for my house done. And now my daughter has to uh, put it together. Do I like that? No, I really don't. Do I want it straight? You know what? Let's just see what it looks like. That you see, um, people ask me how I dress my mice, and this is how I do it. Does it look right? That's exactly. This is exactly how I I do my patterns. Everyone is always asking me how do you you know this is it. It's trial and error. It's can you figure it out? Okay, and then if I do the same thing on the other side with the same amount, so I just cut two strips, I think I would like that. Okay, so I have the fabric here. Let's cut it. All righty. Wait, does it have a, since I already did the bottom, I think it's this way. Hey, Antonio, how are you, sweetie? I don't know if, if um, something's happening to your video, like when you come in, but just stay, at 8 o'clock, I'm going to be pulling the names out of the hat. So um, let's get under, let's try to get under with so you can see what I'm doing. I could use some pins. I think, okay, let me get some pins. They're right over here, I think. So. Isn't this a pretty color orange? It's velvet, but it's not like, I don't know, it's a thicker velvet. It's a cotton velvet. It's not, I really like the, I really, I'm pinning. I really like the fabric. Okay, let's get under instead of working on your lap, which nobody can see. So as I was saying, I have the videos, and let me tell you that <laughs> between my camera battery going to low bat, the house too dark, the house too light, um, it, it was just, then the, the card was filled. I have to tell you, it was a adventure, and I'm not sure it was a great one, but it was an adventure. And uh, I'm not, I think in the future, uh, we're just going to take pictures of how the house looks like in the light and in the dark. Okay. Where's my Higgins ladies? Let's see how this looks. Okay. Which one's the front? I think. Wait. This hand? This is the front. Okay. So if I just put a slash like that over here. I think I'm going to like that. And then it just sort of would run into that. Not the same angle. Okay. Because there's going to be a belt here. Can everybody see what I'm doing? Yes. Nobody else came in. Okay. I think that's, I think that'll be big enough. Let's get this right. Okay. Give it more of an angle. I'm here, June, just heavy into 
painting so more listening than typing hey sandy how are you good i'm glad hi it's your birthday today isn't it sandy or am i losing my mind i i think it was your birthday or did i say happy birthday? i know i said happy birthday to somebody today <laughs> the brain just isn't what it used to be gotta tell you but i'm glad you're here and i should say hello to all my secret santas the people who don't you know who would rather not type in or if they're busy? Hi, uh, welcome in. Glad to that you're here. Barbara. Okay, no problem, Barbara. If you go to okay, hold on. No problem, Barbara. If you you can just listen, you don't have to chat. And if you fall asleep, that's more than okay. Don't worry about it. I understand. And happy birthday, Sandy. I'm so glad I was right. Good. I thought it was, but you know what? I can't ever say anything with, you know, like such surety anymore because my brain just doesn't, you know. Okay. All right. So if I do that and then I'll put the other half this way, but I think I could go more. Did you have a nice day, Sandy? I hope you had a nice day. And then I'll stop asking you questions because you want to be painting. And here I am asking questions. And I, you know, I understand and not typing. Okay. So I think I'm going to like that. Let's see. If I put the, this is just, well, it's the only representation of another piece. Um, yeah, I think I could do that. Okay, so let's do another piece like this, and we can cut it as we go. Just try to make sure I do it the right way. Again. Sandy, when you're done, please send me a picture, Facebook uh, Messenger, and I will put, and I will show it online. If you want to even do it now, my phone is right near me. We're friends on Facebook, so you can send me a picture if you'd like to show it. If not, that's okay too. Some people don't like to show their work until they're done. I usually don't either, and the only reason why I'm showing my work, why you know, before I'm done, is because I do live streams. Normally, I do not show work in process, process WIPs, because I just would rather finish it and show it that way. Okay, let's hope we got this easily accomplished. That would be a first if I did. Okay, let's remember what side is the front. This is the front. Let's get this. Pretend how we're going to do it. And then let's get this on. Okay. Is that how I want it? I think that'll look cute because I'm going to paint that. Do I want it a thinner strip? No, wait. And then if this side goes this way, come on, come on, lovely. That's not giving me problems. I've been crafting all day myself, doing different things. Try, I think that's going to look cool. Okay, so let's see if we can get the fabric tacked down without ruining everything. Hey, Crystal. Hi, sweetie. Welcome. How are you? I'm just putting some fabric tag on the strip so I can get it down. And I'll put fabric tag on the other strip. The edges are going to be covered with, um, I got so much stuff here 
and I'm working in this little tiny corner, which I do not like to do because then nobody can see what I'm doing. Whoa, big glob. So last week, um, I kept on looking for my sister and she emailed me prior to the live telling me she wouldn't be coming on. So today I checked my emails and she didn't say anything. So she should be here. Move everything out of the way. I don't like when there's so much stuff that I can't even at work. I can move these pins back. Hold on, everybody. Get up. Just move the pins back. We don't need them anymore. We'll put the pins away as we go so I don't overwhelm myself and the pencil. The pencil, too. I know that leaves a lot of dead air, but whatever. Okay, now let's get this situated right. That's that, and that's how it's going to be. Can something hold that there? Yes, that can hold that there. Perfect. Feet stop moving. By the way, this thing, this bottom piece, it's so heavy. Uh, fell on, <laughs> fell on my my pinky earlier because it's a little tipsy. Oh my goodness! I thought it broke my finger. It's like okay, well we know you're heavy. Oh, I saw chat jump. Oh, I love when I see chat jump. Okay. All right. Oh, she's saying. Okay. Okay. I think that'll look good. All right. So that's what we're going with, guys. Whether it looked good or it doesn't look good, that's what we're going with. All right. Now, is it the pain, Barbara, or still your stomach? Okay. It's rolling, rolling, rolling on a river. And I won't be singing tonight. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boysy, boysy. Okay. Here's the ribbon. Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, we have still have an extra piece of this little fabric. Why is this ribbon all bent over here? Why is it? Oh, there it goes. All righty. So we're going to put this ribbon here. And then we're going to have to put some other kind of ribbon over there. Or, because I want to put this ribbon down there. New. New, no. We're going to have to put a different ribbon in here because I want to put this ribbon over here. Because that's where it's going on the bottom piece. Okay. Okie dokie. See how we figured that out? So let's get it on the bottom piece. Hopefully I have enough of this ribbon. This is all I have. So we're going to have to be very smart about how we do this. Hopefully I will be very smart about how I do this. And I can't decide if I want it this way or the other way. Do I like that? No, I like this. I like the little beaded going on there. Okay. So now, mm -hmm, how are we going to add the glue? That's always a good question when it comes to, when it comes to um, lace stuff. But with Fabri-Tac, if you let it sit for a little bit, what did I do now? Come on, Fabri-Tac. It 
it's not as juicy or wet i should say juicy really doesn't have anything to do with fabric tack and therefore you can press it down and it doesn't go through everything let me start to have a little over here because i'm going to put it all around the bottom And I got a little too much on the side here. So is anybody decorated for Halloween or am I the only one? Want a little bit of that coming through and I don't have enough to give myself that much kind of room so we're just gonna have to do that scissors am I in screen no okay I'm going to cut it off there where they meet. So I'm just going to overlap them a little bit. And let's get some more fabric tack on this thing. So I've been doing all sorts of crafting with all sorts of different things. It's the only way, since I don't use my um, heat gun to dry things. Hey, Sandra, how you doing? Glad you're here too. Yay. I don't use my heat gun to dry things. So usually what I have is about... What do I have right now going on? I have this. I have two, three, four, four projects going at the same time. Because you paint one, you got to wait for it to dry, blah, 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 blah. You know? And, okay. I'm going to see if I can cut this. All right, Mine can, I just want to make sure that if I cut it just a little bit longer than I have to, maybe I can scrunch it under this piece right here. I think I can, and that'll look good, sort of, kind of. Wait, you move this guy down. Hold on, get back where you belong. No going off the rails here now. And of course, would you, did you not cut that one long enough? Of course you didn't. But you know what? If you press everything down, nobody's going to say. And why is this looking so gruesome here? Did the did some of the... Why are you looking gruesome? Ah, I didn't wait for some of the glue to dry. Okay. Well, once it does dry, I'm going to be able to fix that. <clears throat> I'll take some acid tone on a... Q-tip and sort of dab at it, and it should get anything that's looking yucky off. Like right over here, right over here looks yucky, so we should be able to take care of it. What are all the four projects? I'll tell you in a second, Antonio. Christine, hi, sweetie. How are you? Everyone's doing good, Sandra, except for Barbara. She's not feeling so great, so she might go to sleep, and it is... It is, hold on, we're going to, Sandy's birthday today. Okay, so it's this. This is one. Um, hold on, I'll show you. I got to get up. 
I decided to make myself a apothecary jar. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. And I got to glue that back on. It fell off because I dropped it. Thankfully, the, the um, hold on. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch it over for a second. Hold on. Let's get to the settings and let's switch it over because I think you can see it better with the other way. And mirror my camera. There you go. Okay. So I'm making an apothecary jar here. And it's just a little something that just occurred to me to make. I have been watching every Halloween, and it does stand up. I don't know if I can show it to you this way. See? Yeah. Stands up. Um, I have seen every Halloween YouTube video, I think, that anyone has ever made. Um, just sitting and watching. So that's one thing, just because I like the jar and I figured I could, you know, I could stuff stuff, shove stuff in it. The one thing I did, well, I wanted to get um, glass etch, etch glass or something to etch this just to make it cloudy. <clears throat> but then, you know what? I'm trying not to spend too much money on crafts because I would just want to use up the supplies that I have. And I have this thing, which is a lamp finial, and I have this thing, which is a candlestick holder. So I'm just slowly but surely getting rid of all of the things. Plus, I have some fabric that I've been getting rid of. One of the reasons why I've been doing the witch, all the little needle felted witches in this jack-o'-lantern thing is I'm getting rid of little pieces of fabric. So this is two. That's these two. And um, the other one, I don't know if anyone can see it, if I can figure it, show it to you, is right back here. This is uh, this is going to be my candle, my candy jar, or my or my candy candy bowl for Halloween. This everybody knows, or I think everybody knows. I had a skeleton that I called Skelly. I had two two skeletons. One was Skelly, and he was always with me. He was with me in some past uh, YouTube videos. And he was always in the house. I bought him, I don't know, years ago at um, Costco. And that was before there was a lot of skeletons around, you know, like plastic skeletons that sort of looked like they were actually real. But now everybody's, they're all over the place. Home Depot has them in, in three different color combos, okay? I, I was like, okay. And I just didn't feel like having And then I have another skeleton that was more like um, that I got that my kids bought for me on Amazon. And it's more like a skeleton that medical students would use. It's not like a really great, great one, but it's sort of better than Skelly, who's just like a plastic version. Um, so I decided that I wasn't going to put Skelly out anymore because enough is enough with, well, you know, I have the skull out, I have a hand out, and then I also have a surprise. I have another piece of Skelly out. But I decided to use this rib cage as a candy bowl, and I put it on a, can you see the, yeah, there's the pattern, you can see. I put it on a lamp that I bought at the thrift store, which only cost me six bucks for this lamp. And by converting it, I took it apart, I took out all the electricity, and I glued some fabric also that I had in my fabric bin that, I, that was a little too big for any of the dresses on uh, the size that I make of my witches or anything else. So uh, I just wanted to use this fabric because I really liked how it was. It has a lot of texture in it. I don't know if you could see that. Yes, you can. And then what I've been working on, besides getting the fabric on here and some trim, I use, um, don't, okay, a couple of things. One, if you want a pedestal candle holder, they're very expensive. Why don't you go to your thrift stores and see if you can convert a lamp? It's very easy to take out the electricity in the lamp by just um, unscrewing some things. You'll know how to do it if you look online on how to repair a lamp. They'll show you how to take it apart. It's very easy to do. And um, for, five, for 5 or $6, this would have been a perfect, because I bought something else that, I, that I'm sort of working on, but I'm not including it in my four projects. They're very good for pedestal candles um, and for six bucks. And then what you might have to buy is a piece of wood 
from Michael's and you just glue it on the top. So uh, six bucks plus a dollar or two dollars for the Michael's wood. So for under ten dollars, let's say under ten dollars, you have a pedestal candle thing, and I can't, you cannot find one that this is this high for under ten dollars. Now, of course, I put fabric on it. I take my old electrical cords and I keep them, and I cut off the parts that either connect to whatever it's connecting to, and I use it and I glue it, glue it around. This was, um, I think, an old phone charger cord, just to give it a little bit more. Uh, for me, for more like texture and stuff, but you don't have to do that. Um, the other, you could put moles on these, and that's another thing that I've been doing with another one. But again, that's not one of the four because that I just put on the side and I haven't worked on it. But this is what it looks like so far. I've been fixing the skeleton because of the the connections were really crummy. I made a base for it. So it sits on this lamp thing, and then I'm going to put a lace, a black, I, well, first of all, I have to repaint this, and because there's a lot of paper clay I use to cover the joints, then I have a lace shawl that I'm going to put over it with a little brooch, and we've tried it, it can fit, this can fit a lot of candy in it, not that we got the big bars, but the little candies, it fits a lot of candy, and they don't come through, and if one comes through, you throw it back in, it's not a big deal, so it's not going to, the bowl doesn't have to sit on the table anymore. It's got its own stand. So this is, again, like I don't really like showing work in, prog prog work in progress, but Anthony, you asked, so I'm showing it for you, buddy. So that's this. And then the other one is in my room drying, and I can't go get it. Maybe if my sister comes on, I'll go get it later. So let me go back to my work thing. And I know that there was some chat on. So let's see. Ooh. Uh, I would loan you my etch if we lived close. Oh, thank you, Sandra. Be right back, my sister. Hi, Ashley. Hi, sweetie. Let's see. Thank you, Antonio. Thank you, sweetie. So, <clears throat> okay. Getting back to this little thing did i make this too short please don't tell me please tell me i didn't make this too short okay you're just gonna have to pull up oh oh christine hi christine did i say hello to you i'm not sure i said hello to you hi christine how are you glad you're here hi sharon how are you hello sweetie okay so you know what? We're just going to go with it. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. So now what I need is enough of this to cover. And I think I have it this side of it. So I'm going to do that. And then we're going to work on the arms. You know what? You're not sticking. I could feel that you weren't sticking. So we're going to restick you and make you a little higher too. I thought you did. You know what? I'm glad that you thought I did, and I'm not sure if I did because that makes me feel better. I'm not losing my mind. Okay. Now that we really gunked it up. Okay. Okay. I don't care if it, if it doesn't quite go all the way to the bottom over here because that's going to be covered with a belt. Okay, let's put this on, and then we can start working on the hands. Okay, let's get the glue. On. So I think I have 
there's only one really one more video i want to see and i forgot the lady i think it's meeker m-e-e-k-e-r um i've been seeing I really sort of overdid it on the Halloween how to's and I have to say, how did I get, did I F that up? Excuse me. Yeah, you did. Okay. Did it go on that there? Okay. Somehow or another, I screwed this up. Hold on everyone. This is going to be a real mess now. Okay. <clears throat> I'm trying to keep it even between these two pieces and somehow or another, I messed it up. I don't know how. Well, probably because I wasn't concentrating on the two pieces that I'm trying to keep it. Now I don't know if the angle's right. I have no idea, but you know what? This is what happens when you're, when you're crafting, sometimes things just don't go the way you want them to. So his little thing in the center got smaller, but these are more even. Hopefully these will match up. They don't. You know what? We're not even going to bother. I'm not going to worry about it. Try to get them matched up, but not worrying about it. Nice. Are you looking forward? Well, I'm saying nice. Are you looking forward to it, Christine? I mean, did you want to go? Am I doing this right? Yes. Hold on. I saw chat jump, but we're just going to try to do something right the first time on this thing. Okay. Oh, good. Yes, he's like a big brother. Excellent then. And I put that for now below. Okay, we're going to have to redo that too. See, I'm not paying attention. I got to stop paying attention because I'm redoing too many things right now. And that, that's going to bug me. Is it how bad? But now you can see it. Okay, come off. I put it down upside down. Now, and now I'm pulling off the, the hairs on this thing. Okay. Because everything shed sheds, not sheds, whatever you call this. No, it's got glue on it, so I can't do that. Are you driving or, oh, wait, you said something. I'm going to see my cousin is driving. That's right. Okay, good. Are you taking the stormtrooper or is, she, or is your cousin taking their car? Well, we shouldn't be discussing this live on, on the thing. Never mind. Well, nobody knows. Well, you, you do put your first and last name on it, but then they don't know exactly where you live. So don't say where you live. I get nervous with, there we go. Oh, right or wrong, that's it. Her car, okay. How's your apartment doing? Are you enjoying it some more? Well, I don't, I don't know if I should say enjoying it. Are you getting used to it or have you been used to it? And it just, you know, because sometimes it takes a little while to get used to a new place of abode. 
Okay. All right. All right. That's it. Made enough of a mess just trying to get four pieces of fabric on it. What the heck was all of that about, guys? Okay. Now, do I have any... See, like, look at all these little nonsensical pieces. What am I going to do with all of these things? Do I... I might need this for the collar. I'm not sure, so I can't toss this out. And then I'm going to probably... Well, no, I, I don't... Do I have to piece it? Yes, I'm going to have to piece it to get around the collar. So I'm just going to keep all these little scrappy wappies. This can go away back in the fabric container over here, which you can't see me going. All right. Oh, that's nice. A little craft corner. And making cards, that's fun. Well, you know me, anything crafting is fun. Although to tell you the truth, I think I've mentioned it before. I haven't, I all of a sudden I have a flurry of activity. But before this, for a long time, it was like not, not happening. Not happening here. Okay. So now, get the fabric pack together. Where is plastic bag? Okay, we're going to try something I've never tried before. So, did this still come out like poop? No. Okay. Oof. I thought I was going to have to redo it again. Whoa. Now, I have to put some trim here, but I have to figure out what I'm doing. I think I'm going to be painting this white, but I can't paint it white now because I'm going to make the hands. Painting it white is the easy part. The reason why I'm doing this, and hopefully this works... Who knows tonight is I'm going to be using paper clay and I don't want to go directly on this with the paper clay. Okay. So I just took pieces of toilet paper roll. Is that a spider? No. Okay. And I'm going to make his arms like this but i'm going to fill them up this was just my way of seeing maybe i'll just do it straight on here with the paper clay and let it dry so we'll see how we feel about that okay now let's let's we're going to reorganize ourselves guys because already things are i have to cover the arms with this that's why i'm not putting them directly on yet but I just want to organize myself a little because there is a mess up here. I'll just leave that go like that. We'll fix that later. Get all the ribbons over here. Move that all over there. Put this in the center. Fix this that's bothering me. Okay. So we have, what we have to do is the arms. I'm going to do the hand. The hands are just going to be round circles. I'm not getting, um, not going to get too crazy about the hands. But now, I originally thought I needed some kind of a, a, a thing to hold on to it, but maybe I can just put the paper clay straight on here. Let's see what we can do. And then here's the plum of clay that I got to mix for the feet. a little neat around here because when you do multiple crafting that your table gets really messy really fast okay i hope that you'll show me some of your cards that you're making christine when you finish uh, i'm gonna be well Never mind. We'll talk about that next week.
Oh, it's 744 already. Look at that. Time is flying when you're having catastrophes. I'm just trying to make two arms the same size first because this, this paper clay is going to crack a million times, but that's okay because it's going to be covered. I'm just needing it as a form to be covered. So I don't have to be like crafting it really perfectly, which is always a relief. So do any of you ladies or Antonio, do you decorate for Halloween? Somebody, does some, I know Barbara doesn't. I know um, Ashley and Shannon do. But does anybody else decorate for Halloween? Okay. Oh, do I got to make that much? Oh, I got to make them much thinner and much longer. That's for sure. You do, Crystal? Good. Thank goodness. Somebody does. Okay. His head is going up here, just so everybody knows. Oh! Loki is coming back. It's going to be on tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. You all know it's way past my bedtime. Well, I stay up till 9 o'clock on Wednesdays. And then most of the time I am in bed hopefully snoring. Um, but Loki is on. So we are definitely going to be watching Loki. This is a little too bubbly right here. So let's see what we can do. You do, Antonio? Nice. Well, what I'm going to be doing is probably... See, a lot of the stuff I have out all year, so it just gets more appropriate at Halloween time. So I don't know after Christmas, but I'm not looking forward to after Christmas because I don't mind the winter, but then you got to go through the summer again. And all the sweating and the bugs. Oh, by the way, we had a uh, lantern beetle the other day. I had a yard sale. I am not doing that again. Okay? Not doing that again. I don't know if I said that the last time. I think I said that the last time I had one or the last two times ago that I had one. And they, for me, they just, I'm not making money at them. And it's ridiculous. So I had a yard sale and... There was this really pretty bug on my window by my door. And the thing that I was between mosquitoes and wasps, I was like walking around with a broom and a fly swatter. And there wasn't that many people. And I don't think I advertised properly about it, which is fine. Whatever. If my daughter didn't make the sign to go in the corner, I don't think anybody would have showed. But what I do now is for the big pieces, I'm trying to sell at Craigslist. And for everything else, I'm just bringing to the, the local thrift store. And um, that's it, because I'm not doing it. That's it. And then uh, someone, someone, ah, someone did something. Hold on. Got to read my messages. So I found that one of those lantern things, and I said, oh, isn't that beautiful? Because it looks really pretty. And when my, my daughter came home, it was, um, <clears throat> when my daughter came home, she told me what it was, so we had to go. We had to go kill it. So, okay. Oh, wait a minute. This is Christine's little craft corner. Can anybody see that? Look how cute that is. My phone's filthy. Oi. Don't craft and hold your phone at the same time. That's your little craft. Oh, show everybody else. How cute is that? I love the clock. 
Nice, you have your bookcase and your desk. Excellent. That's nice. Okay, moving on. Hold on, I got other messages. Oh, hold on. Why am I? Look at look at Sandy's clock she's making. Look at how pretty that is. This is the dotting she's doing. That's beautiful. Sent me another picture. There, look at that. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Gosh. You're doing good. Whatever it is that's kicking your butt, I don't know. But that is really very, very pretty. Can everybody see that? Okay. A lantern bug. The reason, okay, I'm, I'm going to go off of this. Thank you for sending me photos, ladies. Um, the lantern bug is a bug that's that, that eats our trees. I'm not exactly sure of the whole thing. It's just that Megan, Megan was explaining to me it's not a good bug to have. They're infiltrating the area. And I guess you would have to look them on, up online to see what they really look like. But they're coming and they're invading everything and they eat your trees. So I I don't really, there's a whole group of bugs. I don't know. There was a YouTube thing. I mean, not YouTube, a Facebook post. I was putting all the bugs that I don't mind killing, like flies, uh, roaches, earwigs, fleas, ticks, mosquitoes, lice, those kind of bugs I don't care about killing. But other bugs, I don't, I try not to. Spiders and stuff, I try to bring them out of the house unless I'm exhausted and they're aggravating me. Um, I did, but way too late of a nap. Oh, okay. Hi, Martha. Okay. She's, you still got to paint the numbers on the mountain. Okay. Well, you'll do it. You're, it's looking good. It's looking really pretty. Oh, Martha was here. Late again, just got up from a late nap. Excellent. Napping is good. Napping is good. Okay, so this is going to be his arms when they dry. I think these look good. I just got to make sure that they're the same size. Okay. This one's a little bigger there and needs more up here. All right. They don't look the same size to me. Knife. Knife. How are you, Martha? I'm glad you made it. Got it. Okay, I read that. Got to paint the numbers. So at 8 o'clock, I'm going to put the names in the hat and pick the name. And then whatever person's name I pick out, they're the ones who are going to uh, name the witch. My little needle felted witch. Martha, you decorate for Halloween, right? Trying to find out who decorates because we have a lot of people that don't seem to be decorating for Halloween. which is not, well, and Antonio decorates a little bit. I still got to figure out what exactly I'm going to be making this year. Hey, Carrie, how are you? Have not yet, but I did go to, okay, I did, oh, excellent. Look, okay, if I put a Christmas tree up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, I, uh, 
when my sister comes on, if she comes on, we can tell I'll tell everybody the news, but I want to wait until she gets here so I can say it with her. Everybody knows I live in New York, or if you don't know, or can't tell from my accent, and my sister lives in California by L.A. I have not had enough energy to do shit. Okay, I'm sorry, Martha. Sometimes that happens, right? Let's do that. Let's do that to give it a little bit of a hand thing. Again, these are going to be covered with, um, this looks a little big to me, so I'm just going to pull it down a little bit. These are going to be covered with fabric, and they also shrink a little bit, which is good because um, they are a little bit fatter than I wanted. So if I just pull them down a little bit, and I want to make sure they're the same size. This one looks longer, but let's continue getting this down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Trader Joe's. Oh, that was good news. Trader Joe's got little chocolate candies, sort of like Three Musketeers, Snickers, and Milky Ways. <clears throat> and then there's another crunchy one. We're still trying to figure out what it is. Maybe it's a whatchamacallit. I don't know. It's just something. And um, they are delicious because they are fresh tasting. A lot of the Halloween can, you know, well, ha the Halloween candy has been out for a month or so already. And I guess chocolate lasts indefinitely. How long, you know, chocolate doesn't go stale real quick. But I've been finding my used to be my favorite chocolate bar was Snickers. I love Snickers. But the chocolate is tasting more and more waxy to me. You know, like, I, I don't know if waxy is a good term. I'm just putting my finger in some water to try to get this stuff to, to um, uh, blend together better. I don't know if waxy is the proper term, but it, it's, it, I don't know, it just doesn't taste like chocolate. And these at least, you know, have a little bit of chocolate taste to them and they taste fresh. And, you know, I don't mind paying the price for, for the Snickers bars, but I do, I don't like it if they're not tasting. I don't know what, I guess people are trying to, you know, save money on everything. So the manufacturers are saving money on the chocolate too. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just me because really it's gotten to the point where the only chocolate that I love from, um, from outside and not talking Trader Joe's is Hershey Kisses. I always love the chocolate on Hershey Kisses. It's got a different taste to me anyway. And uh, they have always been my favorite just for pure chocolate tasting. I think they, I once read, and I'm not sure about this, so don't quote me. Not that who, who goes around? Wait a second. I, I heard on YouTube that June said, who goes around and does that nonsense? Okay. Um, hold on. Uh, that they were made with sour milk or something? I don't know. But uh, you could go around and say, said that <laughs> Megan said that she was so funny today okay I take a walk every morning because I'm old and I have to get the blood going and um so I take about I don't know 40 to 50 minute walk and then I get my because I drive to where I work, walk and then I go to the store that's right across the street up the block and up across the street from me and it's called, it's called Key Food, and it's a food store to pick up little things here and there. It does, yeah, it does suck, Sandy. And um, then um, what happened? What are we, so in the morning, that early in the morning, which is around any, anywhere from like 8 to 8.30 after my walk or, you know, 8.30 to 9. Not much, it's not later than 9. They don't have cashiers. They only have those machines. 
And I absolutely hate those machines. I hate them. I hate it. I would, you know, Megan goes to like younger people or even anybody goes to the machines and they're fine with it. I don't like that. I'd want to just, just have somebody bring up my stuff. You know, I'm already bagging it myself. I'm already have to bring the bags there. I place it, you know, do I have to bring it up too? So all I do is have a conversation. The first thing I go up to it and I just say, ah, and Megan did, she said, because after she heard me yelling at my computer earlier, she says, I know you probably say it out loud. And that, you know, most people would think you're just saying that you say that, but I know you're saying it out loud. I go up to the machine. The first thing it says, like, um, you know, do you have your key food? Do you have your key food card or something like that? And I'm like, I, 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 it's just inevitably I end up telling it how much I hate it out loud. And then I start arguing with it, which does me no good. Okay. Because it's not really listening to me. And, uh, and then every single time I need somebody to come over and help me because it's like, I had grapes. I put the code in it. It says invalid code. I'm like, it said, look up item. So I looked on the thing and it had the code on it. So I put the code in invalid. So I just thought it was me. So I started yell, you know, yelling at the machine again. And the guy goes, you need help? So I said, yes, I do. And he came over and he put the same code in and it didn't work. And then all of a sudden he put this other code in. I'm like, where did you get that code? And he was like, I just know it's a code for grapes. And I'm like, fine. Okay. I, you know, I don't even care. It's just, I really do not like having to, you know, ring myself up. Okay. I mean, I think they should give me a discount. If I'm bringing my own bags, I'm bagging my stuff, and now I'm ringing my stuff up, I think I should get a discount. But do prices get less? No, prices got more. I'm doing the job of, a, of the, the, the cashier, and some stores used to have a bagger. So it's like, what the, and the prices of food is going up. I think that's unfair. I really think that's unfair. Okay? That, that's my spiel. That's my soapbox tonight. Oh, okay. Scalded. All right. Good. Fine. Good. Thank you, Crystal. Like gummy bears. Oh, I, Trader Joe's has gummy bears too. Or gummy something. I just making got gummies and sour gummies or something. Two of them. Okay, so the time has come. It's eight o'clock. I don't see my sister. Let's put this away so it doesn't dry out on me. The time has come for me. To put the names in my little mini cauldron and pick out the name for the person who is going to get that little witchy. It's the first show in October, so let's get that done. But I need a drink of water. Oh, and I need a drink of water. Did everybody hear that one? I make 100. Oh, Cora's here. Yay. Hold on. Let me get her in the show. Hi, Cora. I make 150 snowman wrappers for Hershey bars every Christmas. I love it. Okay. Add to stage. Hi, my sister. How are you? Good. How are you? Okay. I'm just going to pull the names out of the hat, but I have to go get that stuff. Pull what names out of the hat? What are you talking about? I'm pulling about? the names out of the hat to get the witch tonight. Oh, fabulous. <coughs> fabulous. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> All right, so talk to everybody for a sec. Yeah, I was just going to say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. Hi. Oh, Crystal is a new person. Okay, Crystal, Cheryl, Shannon, Martha, Sandy. Oh, my goodness, a lot of people are here tonight. June, Carrie. Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a fabulous Wednesday. Hi. So I hope everybody's day is good. June, did you get a delivery from me today? No. Uh-oh. Okay. I thought they delivered. I thought Supermarket Italy delivered today. Maybe I'm wrong. Hello. No, no I didn't tell them yet. I was waiting for you to come, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. No, I didn't tell them. You didn't tell them what? That you're coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to visit June for Christmas, everybody. So come on to New York. I'll make it a party. We're going, we're going to uh, fly in on the 23rd, which is a Saturday. And then only four days, staying till the, till Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. So 
Yeah. So looking forward, haven't been to New York in a while and looking forward to seeing June and the kids. So that's going to be fun. We're uh, <clears throat> excited. So what we're doing, what we normally do, I'm telling them our plans, June. Okay, I don't just give me a second and you can tell them your plan, our plans. Say it again, what? Give me a second and then you can go. All right. Okay. All right. Here's all the people who made a comment. So I'm going to write each individual person's name on this little post-it pad and put it in my little mini cauldron. Oh, have a cauldron or what? Okay. So go ahead. What else has been in that cauldron? It looks a little uh, tacky in there, June. What the heck is it? It's it's copper. Uh, oh, it's copper. Okay. Well, it's tough. It's copper. Tough. It's copper. And so that's there. Oh, very. Oh, very. Okay. It looks very weathered and worn. Okay. Sounds of good. My sister. All right. All right. All right. No, don't kill. Don't, don't shoot. All right. So anyway, so, so everyone, um, so going to New York for Christmas and going in on, I told you already going in on, on the 23rd and leaving on the 27th. And so on the 23rd flying in and then 24th, which is Christmas Eve, of course, um, Going to Uncle Giuseppe's. So I told so I told Uncle William last night that we were going to Uncle Giuseppe's and he broke out in a cold sweat. Okay. I got I broke out in a cold sweat. Okay. So anyway, so basically, all right. So we're gonna do that and then come back to June's house and then make ravioli. Okay. So I'm a just so you everybody knows, I'm a filler. June's a doa. So um, she'll explain that in a minute. So anyway, and um, I don't know, however, normally we only had four. Because growing up, my mother and I were fillers and my father and June were doers. So now we have five people. We have EC and we have Megan. And we have no, no, no. Eddie's not going to make raviolis. Why? Well, if there's too many here, oh, my, he might have to help me. That's right. He's a doer. Well, that's right. We only have five people. I don't know where I was thinking we had six. I don't know what, what, what William's going to do. But anyway, so, yeah. So we're going to make the raviolis on New, uh, New Year's Eve. Listen to me. Christmas Eve. And then on Christmas Day, we'll eat the raviolis. And then the day after, William and I are going to trudge into Manhattan and um, kind of, you know, see the tree and all that good stuff. And then the following day, we're flying out. So it's going to be a quickie. But it's going to be good. So anyway, so, yeah. So that's the story, folks. And, uh, yeah, so looking forward. So everybody... Come meet us in New York. Wouldn't that be fun if we had a whole party and did this in person? I think it would be great. I'm inviting everyone to June's house. Hello, everyone. Come to June's house the 23rd of December. Well, okay. I have service for eight. I have eight pieces of Christmas china. So there's five of us. Three people can come. I can eat on a paper plate. Like what's I don't, the I don't, we don't do paper at Christmas, Cora. Oh, that's true too. All right. Well, whatever. Any bit. Anyway. All right. So that's the exciting news. And so I was on the phone with June yesterday. Was it yesterday, June? That we were. Yeah. And uh, there's this place online. There's this place online called Supermarket Italy. And Supermarket Italy is exactly that. It has. It's a supermarket online of all kinds of Italian specialties and other and others. Others as well. I think there's some German and some French. But anyway, so mostly Italian stuff that we grew up with. So I sent her a package in advance of some of the specialties that we normally have around Christmas time that we have with our antipasto. And hi, Cheryl. Hi, everybody. Now I just, you know what? I <laughs> I didn't scroll down. Woo! Okay. Now I, okay. So <laughs> Tony said, start clearing all the fairy. No, that's what I was reading. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, actually, because she's got a full house, we're staying at a place very close by. We're staying in um, Stony Brook. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, um, what am I talking about? Okay, so anyway, so yeah, so sent my sister, Mastarda, and we had... Um, he's I was sending, trying to get, he's sending me stuff that we can't get at Uncle Giuseppe's. Right. That's yeah. all because Uncle Giuseppe's has a lot of Italian stuff, but we're talking about pre Uncle Giuseppe's Italian stuff. Does that make yeah. sense? Stuff yeah. that my mom used to have years ago that 
the Italian specialty stores down in Manhattan or in Corona had, but you know, they don't have things anymore like that in the, in the current stores, even in Italian stores that are supposedly Italian stores, they don't have Mastada and uh, Panettone. They don't no, have they Panforte. Don't have they have pan, uh, yeah. They have panettone. They don't have panforte. Panforte. I couldn't find the panforte because they were sold out. Because the supermarket Italy place so it sells out like really quick of all the good stuff. And then June, I did send something else. It's a little bit of a surprise in there, so um, you'll you'll see. It I, I have to open it, right? Does anything have to go in the refrigerator? No. Um. No. Right? You want me to wait? You no, know, and not open it. You yeah, you don't, all right, you don't have to, all right, whatever. If you want, yeah, that'd be cool. Let's just wait. Okay. Okay, but if there's nothing in there that's going to spoil. No, I'm thinking, no. No? Everything was in jars. Everything is like the, the right? The jars yeah. for the Mastata. You, you got the artichoke hearts? Yeah. Didn't we get those? I think so. Because yeah. I have to watch out because, you know, I'm the only Italian they'll ever talk to that's got, that's allergic to garlic. So, Anyway, so I think we've gone over that before. But anyhow, so that's the story. So I found some artichoke, marinated hard artichoke hearts that have um, no garlic, which is fabulous. And then um, did I get the mushrooms too? I can't remember. Mussels? Mushrooms. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But we got some Italian specialty, so that's exciting. And then there was something that <laughs> we didn't we just started yesterday. Or today. What? We're so bad. We can't remember. You know what? Okay. I know. Before we I know. continue, I have to I have to go forward and pick my name out of the hat. Oh God, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Stir it up. Bubble bubbles, we're in trouble. Oh Lord, help us. For this little witchy. Oh, bring her down. I can't see her. Oh, how cute is she? Oh my God, she's so cute. She came out really cute, June. All okay. right, people. Who's lucky tonight? Who's lucky? Oh, who is it? Who's lucky? I don't know. Are we getting nervous from this? <laughs> well, I think I had a drum roll. Oh, well, where's the drum roll? I don't have, I didn't know you were picking. I didn't know you were. Oh, doing you want me to wear it? <laughs> I'm picking. I'm picking. Sandra's I don't back. know what Sandra's back because Sandra, you know, you would have been gone, and I don't know if your name's in the hat, but she's picking. No, she. I don't think she put a name. I got a name. Tony start cleaning all the fairies. Because <laughs> he remembers. He remembers yes. the story. He talk. Yes, because they're all chatting at night and scaring the shit out of okay, me. Okay, here we go. Are we right, ready? Go ahead, go ahead. Yep. Oh, ready. Ashley, and I spelled the name wrong. Yay. Oh. I even spelled that wrong. Ashley. Ember. Oh, Ashley. Yay. Ashley. Ashley. Name. Ashley picked Ember. Can everybody see that? Ashley picked what? Ember. Ember. Her Ember. name was Ember. Yay. Yay. All right. Go oh, ahead. Yay. Ashley, I'll be sending this out to you, sweetie. She's sending it out. Oh, fabulous. All right, so good. Yay. <laughs> I'm glad I made it for that. Oh, I was waiting for you. Oh, all right. Well, great. Congratulations, you just, Ashley. Your sister is con concerned. I'm very happy. Thank you for doing that. You're welcome. Okay, so okay. what do you make? It looks like some feet or something. What's that? Those are arms. Oh, okay. Arms. So that's the top of the body of the pumpkin of the pumpkin nutcracker. I'm gonna go to me. Can I just go to me? Please. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. All right, wait, I gotta go. Wait a minute. Martha Martha wants to know all the names that the people chose. Oh, the... okay, hold on. Hold yeah. on, I'm just cross that out. Hold it. Hold on. Ashley had Ember. Barbara had Ethel. Martha, you had Enola. Shannon had Elvira. Vic wow. had Estrella. Estella? Estrella, E S T. And Antonio had Eloise. Nice. So we had plenty of other e names if anybody else wanted to join in, but those are the people who commented and I checked it twice, okay? I checked the list of the comments twice. Not once, twice. Twice. Baltimore, somebody from Baltimore. 
What? Somebody just came in from oh, Baltimore. Hi, Linda. How are you? Linda. Linda, yes. Hi, how Linda. How you doing, Linda? Well, <laughs> Sandy, you had to put a image. <laughs> Not now, Sandy. We already did that. That was in the in the comments. So we got that done. Okay. So now, Cora, just to show you, yeah. this is, oh, these are his arms that are going to be covered in fabric. This fabric, well, the same fabric as this, yeah, to go on here. But this is paper clay, and it has to dry. Why is it in a plastic thing? Because I didn't want paper clay smudges on, oh, paper clay smudges on things, and I didn't want to get the fabric dirty. Oh, okay. So what are we making here? What is this? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Hi, Linda. It's a nutcracker. A nutcracker. Okay. Too hold big. on. Yeah. What? I can't see. It's too big. I know. I know. I know. Hold on. Give me uh, a second. You figure, you're, fi you're fixing it? Okay. That looks like a finger right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, very nice. Look at that nutcracker. That's a big nutcracker. I can't get the whole thing. There, there you go. are. Very good with the pumpkin head. I like and then it. And it's going to have the big tall hat on him too. Very nice. Okay. And then what's going to happen is the hat is not going to be attached to him. What you can do is take the hat off and put the light in him just like you could with the scarecrow I make. Nice. Okay. Okay. Sammy's making fun of us. She's saying our ERs become A's. That's right, oh. sister. Sister. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's right, Sandy. That's our that's our little New York thing. What do we got? And Cora only sounds New York when she talks to me. It's so funny. Like, William will know. My husband will know exactly. He says, did you just get off the phone with your sister? I'm like, why? <laughs> Yes, because she doesn't normally talk like this with, without me. See, because everybody in California, all they say is, you're from New York. I know, I know. Oh, Joanna's saying, I, sh I shouldn't have mentioned Supermarket Italy. Now I'm trying to browse through their foods, looking for a good pesto. <gasps> good job, Joanne. Okay, Penny. Hi, Penny. Penny's here. Wait a minute. Okay. Hi, Penny. Okay, you just, I'm glad you're watching. That's all. No problem. And then Joanne, <laughs> oh, Joanne, making pesto is so easy. Yeah, it is. Okay? It really I'm, is. I'm okay. You, you get some fresh basil. You take Trader, Trader, Joe. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's fresh basil. Go ahead. Trader Joe's fresh basil. I'm just going to, I don't know, you can't, I have to roll this. Wait, what's next? I got to roll the clay out and the, the clay machine is over here. So I think I'll just, oh, I'm moving you again. Sorry. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Oh, Corey, you didn't see. Oh, there's so much we have to talk about. What happened? It's a, I love to toasted pine nuts in mine. Oh, that's nice, Penny. Yes. Um. What are you, you didn't see my my uh, my new up and coming candy basket. Oh, good. She's got basil in her garden joint. Oh my God, what is that, Jim? This is my candy basket. I took Skelly's uh, rib cage, turned it upside down, and attached it to a lamp bottom. I gotta so fix it. It's not all done yet. I gotta paint this, and I gotta put the black shawl over it. Right. So, so you're gonna put all the candy in there, so they have to go in there to get the candy. Yep. Oh my God. Yep. It's are a freestanding thing. It's not on my table. Are you okay. going to be dressed up? What? Are you going to be dressed? That's right, Sandy. Thank you. I know basil, olive oil, pine nuts, and garlic, except for me. I know. That's why I don't eat pesto. Unfortunately, it's a lot of garlic. Oh, my sister, are you, gonna, are you dressing up when you give out the candy? Sometimes I do, but I'm going to be making dinner. So. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah, okay. So, Joanne, I'm sorry. You take the basil, you pull off the leaves. You don't put the stem in. You pull off the leaves, you wash the leaves, and you chop it. You could even put it in a food processor. You use some olive oil, like they said, put fresh garlic in it. Put it in the garlic when you're chopping up the basil in the free food processor. And if you don't have a food processor, you just chop it up. You know, slice it and chop it. 
put it in a jar, put it in olive oil. But what my mother used to do, and this made it really good, was she used to take cream cheese and, and mix it in with the olive oil and the basil. And I love pesto with cream cheese. I don't really doing that you know yeah, she yes she did that i don't remember her doing that because i guess i never had pesto so i never i never remember her doing that because that was part of because when we used to make the ravioli filling the ravioli filling had the the spinach with the cream cheese and that's what i remember and then some parmigiano cheese as well and also uh not so pecorino what not pepper. She didn't put pe I, I don't no, think she put, put she didn't have pecorino. No, we never had it at the beginning because nobody ate it at the beginning. It was all parmesan. And then um, what is it? That cream cheese, nutmeg, spinach, and the other one, Swiss chart. Right, right. I didn't know she did she put nutmeg in it. I didn't even realize yeah. she had pepper, wow. white pepper. Nice. Yes, it was absolutely delicious. That filling is delicious, and that's what we're gonna make. When we make the raviolis on uh, Christmas Eve, we're going to make that filling, and uh, well, June's going to probably make it ahead of time. And bread, oh, wait a minute, breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs and eggs. I think she put in eggs too. Yeah, I was going to say egg. Also, I couldn't remember, but I thought, yep, yeah, I remember the egg. Yep, 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 yep. Well, you know what, Joanne? This is why I don't use the pine nuts. I'm sorry, Megan. That when Megan makes it, she puts the pine nuts in. We used to get pine nuts from Italy, and now pine nuts don't come from Italy anymore. Where and they where they come from? Know. They come from China, I think. Which has nothing to say anything about the pine nuts, but I, me too, Sandra. I'm getting hungry too. It's my dinner time. I'm sorry. I think you have to like lightly toast the pine nuts now. I've done it where I put walnuts in it because no, I don't want any of that stuff. Oh, no, no, no. We have to do it traditional. No, we don't. Yes, we do. I want it traditional. What? I'm not making pesto. Oh, I thought you were talking about the ravioli filling. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about two different things. Oh, Parmesan cheese, absolutely. Yeah, toast the nuts in a pan, Penny said. Parmigiano Reggiano. Yep. Eggs no, to no, That's right, Sandy. Don't get, don't get, no, no, no. Don't get Parmesan cheese. Get Parmigiano Reggiano cheese and grate it yourself. Don't get it grated either because I'm beginning to think that Uncle Giuseppe's puts in Fill it in their grated Parmigiano cheese, even though it's oh so infinitely. So we're just horrible. gonna have to grate it ourselves. Horrible, horrible! I will grate the cheese. I will grate the. Oh, Cora! Wait, wait, wait! I'm sorry. I know this is like. <laughs> what are you making, June? That looks horrible. That thing that you're that you're putting I, through the pasta machine. I'm just machine. mixing the different. Wait, um, let me ask a question. That is not the pasta machine we're using for the ravioli. Please. No, this I have two pasta machines. I use mommy's pasta machine for the ravioli. This is the one dedicated Jesus. for the polymer clay. Sandra's <laughs> in SoCal too. Hey, Sandra, where are you in SoCal? Wait, can we just finish this? Hold on. Okay. Sorry. Penny uses tofu, and she does oh. tofu nuts. Um. Uh. Let me put. You have to get the real cheese because the, the real Parmesan that they put in the shaker bottles and stuff like that, there is no comparison to the real cheese, especially when you grate it. It, it seriously, it makes such a, it's such a difference. And you have to make sure it's from Reggiano. You can't just buy it and think that you're getting it because there's other places besides Italy that makes Parmigiano cheese now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now everybody's telling me where they live. So you can be there. Oh, Chico. Chico is not in Northern Cal. Sandy, it's in Southern Cal. Chico's not too far from here. I used to go out to Chico um because I had a, a company that I used to work with. Wait. Oh no, I'm sorry. Chino. <laughs> Got mixed up there, Sandy. Sorry. That's right, Penny. It's from the region of Parmigiano in Italy. That is the namesake. That's right, because our mom was from Parma. Cora. What? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Trader Joe's. Yes. I think I told you about this, but Trader Joe's has in a glass bottle the tomato puree from the tomatoes in Parma. 
They yeah. have they have a truck or a factory truck that goes around and processes it right from the field. That's the only thing in it. No garlic. It's sometimes they don't have it. It's not a lot. So I've been I have two bottles so far. Megan and I are now on alert that whenever we go there, we're going to stock up. So I'm going to make a quick sauce because I don't know if the one from Uncle Giuseppe's has got the garlic in it. And I know you said right. gonna... I can make the sauce when you're making the filling. Uh, or something. No, I have. I'm going to have the filling made already because the filling has to sit for it to taste good. All right. All right. All right. All right. But I can make the sauce, June. I don't want you to go through all that trouble. Well, it's going to be a real quick sauce. It's just going to be onions and parsley. I'm not going through the whole nine yards. I'm just cutting up an onion. Cut oh, up wait the a minute. What is it that you need from Trader Joe's? What's the Trader Joe's thing? It's it's cut up tomatoes? No, it's regular tomato puree. I thought I sent oh. you a picture of it. Did I send you a picture of it? I don't remember it unless, well, you know, who knows? I don't remember yesterday. So, yeah, send it to me again because I want to check it out because if so, I want to, I want to have some in the house. Yes, uh, Joanne, it's the second one, Reggiano. Yeah, Reggiano. Um, because you know why? I, I was looking at the pots online, uh, the pots that uh, Stanley Tucci has. Stanley Tucci that's going around uh, all of Italy and eating with everybody and all of that. I love it. It's on CNN. It's a special. I don't know if any of you watch it, but it's absolutely wonderful. And Stanley Tucci now has a set of pots, and they carry it at Williams and Sonoma. So I was going to get his pots because he he shows you a little video of how he makes this pasta. It's really alia olia, which is really uh -huh. pretty much, yeah, um, olive oil and garlic. But I wouldn't make it with the garlic. But he, he puts in onions as well. So anyway, Net Net William wants me to make that. So I want to, he cuts up uh, fresh tomatoes, but I'm going to use the tomato puree then if from uh, Trader Joe's if I can find that. It's okay. I have to. Yeah, this okay. Um, most should look for the label. It says fire there might be made in the deli. Yeah, I. You know what the thing is? Um, I only like to get a penny, penny when it says it on the rind. I like. I always get a piece of the rind. I don't get the one that has the rind like this. I always get the where it just has the rind on the back, so you can grate the whole entire thing up to the rind. Um, but I only buy the one that says it, it's stamped on the rind. I don't trust anybody to say, you know, because I, there's a, there's so much of that may, you know, that they're putting, um, they're going to be putting in chips in the rind to make sure that it's real Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. I, oh, it's for a God's sake. Well, because people are knocking it off, Cora. And it, you know, you know what? can anybody leave things alone for God's sake? Anthony, no, I know. I, uh, Tony, I was looking at the, um, yeah, it's called Green Pot. And he basically, it's they're made in Italy, the pots. And they have three different colors. They've got the stainless steel. They have a green, uh, it's a stainless steel with a, no, it's green for the most part, green. And then another one is white and gold. No, no, no. Yeah, white and gold. So I was thinking of getting the white and gold, but then I'm thinking, nah, probably go for the stainless steel because that's probably going to be better if, you know, like, who knows in the future? Yeah, like, Cora, I'm gonna put you on screen because I am gonna go downstairs. I get where you thing. going? All right, go get the thing. Let me see if I can get you solo layout. There you okay. are. You're okay. alone. Hey, everybody. Okay, so yeah, so I was talking about these pots. So Stanley Tucci, like I said, he's on CNN and he's got this um this special where he goes from from province to province in Italy and he eats with you know the people make him the food of the area and he sits down and he eats it's really really nice anyway so now he has these pots like i said uh, at william and sonoma and it's they're expensive i guess i don't know like i've never bought a whole set of pots just by themselves but they have a set of i forget how many is in the set but they have um like i said stainless steel and then they have the green and the green is really nice tony yes but it doesn't go with anything and so i was tr try to trans i was thinking about transitioning to like more gold and with the white and everything but i'm wondering if that's the way it's going to be moving forward like if i move and this and that so i thought ah i'll just get the stainless steel because the stainless steel will go with everything so anyway um, yeah, so that's the story, but he makes this pasta dish, like I said, alia olia, which is olive oil and garlic, and basically with pasta, and he makes it with fresh tomatoes, 
and garlic, which I wouldn't use, and of course, onions. And the way he makes it, it's so easy, simple, fast, and it looks delicious. So my husband asked me, he saw the video with me, and he's like, oh, would you make that? And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get the pots. And once I get the pots, the pots are like 600 bucks. Now, I don't know if that's a lot or not for pots, because I've never bought it. Like I How said, many I bought pots? How many? I, see, that's the thing. It has the pasta pot with the with the in in thing with all the 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 holes in it, so you can pull out the pasta and all the water goes in the bottom pot. So it's got that. So that that's two. And I think it has a, and then it's got he's got another saute pot one two. And then I think he's got I think it's like five or six pots. June, I can't remember. Okay, I gotta go look at them again. I look on my what? Yeah, I gotta go look at them because you know it. Oh, why am I crooked? I hate being crooked. Um, because I know. On. Let me just yeah. answer some of these things. No, Joanne, you can't really eat the wine, but once you get the no. wine of the real Parmigiano, you can also put it in sauce and put it in your sauce, and that adds so much. The other thing I wanted to say to Joanne is that use you, you got it. The fresh basil would be wonderful. I had when I was when I was growing a lot of things in my garden, I used Thai basil, and that was really very like it had like a little bit more of a, um, a spicy thing to it, like just a little bit. So I used Thai basil to make pesto, but any basil would be fine. And let's see, I just wanted to cheese rinds in soup, uh, real cheese rinds, put the end use in soups. Yes, I also put them in. Uh, like I said, the sauce. I just wanted to get that. And oh, the pots and pans. Pot, good pots and pans are expensive. Well, you um, know, what? I was just looking and they have like different sets and stuff. So they have a set for green pot, uh, four piece fry pan. No, 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 I don't want that. It was a set that had, I think that's the set right there. Yeah, it's on sale for $6.99. Actually, it's a, oh, geez. I'm looking at it online on my phone. Hold on. I'm trying to get well, it. You know what, Carl? Look at Kuzanat. You know, uh, I want to. I think I want to go with Tucci. Okay, because stainless steel Kuzanat. Some of them are really nice. I got some of them for Eddie, and they're really nice pots. Are they? Well, this one, June. Yeah, eleven piece cookware set, eight thirty nine suggested price, but it's on sale for six ninety nine ninety five. Uh, uh, the Stanley Tucci collection. It's called Green Pan, and okay. they have. Like, yeah, the green is with the gold. They have white with the gold, and then they have stainless steel. He makes steak or oreganata, uh, um, and then he has pasta with uh, fresh cherry tomatoes and basil. That's the one I was I was looking at. And then he makes fish stew. So it all looks so lovely and stuff. I just thought I would go with like white and gold, but then I thought, like I said, it it you know it kind of. I don't know if it narrows me down because like I have cream colored um, countertops now, but I may not in the future. So I didn't, you know, so it's cream. Well, and gold. Wait a minute. White and gold goes with everything, really. You think? Right? Well, it's like cream and gold. Yeah, it's cream and gold, Junie. It's very pretty, which I thought, oh, that's new and different. And William recently bought some gold silver. Uh, gold um flatware because he was liking the gold stuff so i thought well maybe i'll transition to the gold and i was thinking of actually bringing in some pieces from mackenzie trials that have uh -huh. the, the gray and white with the gold accents right. so i thought that's why i was thinking about going with the white uh, and, just... the, and the gold so what do you think i think that i think you if you like the gold and white but the wait the gold is just the, around the rim the inside of the pot is the off-white right no no the outside of the pot is off-white the inside of the pot is a gray color and then the gold is the handles and the top of the handle of the cover so it's just really the handles the gold i have to go look at them yeah all right. I looked at them before. Yeah. I looked at them when you were talking to me about it, but I got to go look at them some because, more. I mean, the stainless steel is very pretty too. And actually, eleven piece cookware and stainless is only seven ninety nine. How the hell did that happen? Oh, that's wait, that's more. Hold on, eleven piece. Hold on, what does that say? Is that eleven piece? What did I just say? How many pieces? Eleven. You said eleven. Oh, yeah. So I don't know why it's six ninety nine. Green pan Tucci, eleven piece. Six ninety nine, and then the stainless. Carter, show it on the screen so that everybody can see it. I, I don't know and how. Put, to... put your phone towards the screen. Okay, here. Yeah. Oh, that's the green pot, and then hold on. I don't like the green pot. Yeah. Oh. Can't see that. Yeah. No. Hold on. Shit. Oh, you can't see it. All right. 
Hold on, because it's too much. Sorry. The background is. Oh, wait, here, I can show you this. Maybe this will show. Ah. So there's the green, the stainless, and the white with the oh, yes. gold. You can see it. That, yeah, that you can see. Yeah. Oh, the pioneer. <laughs> huh? What? Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Walmart. Yeah, there you go, Ash. And I bet you, you know, they cook just beautifully. I don't know why. You know, I'm not even a cook. I mean, I really make reservations. I don't make food. But I thought, well, this would be nice to have once in my life, a nice set of pots, you know, like, why not? Right. So. All right. So what do you does everybody like the white? Oh, Martha said she likes the white. So everybody. Oh, yeah. Tell me, yeah. Tell me what you what you think. If, if, did you like the green or you think the stainless is just, you know, the staple? Should I stick with the stainless or should I go for the white and gold? So Martha's vote is the white. June, what's your vote? Well, it's not the green. Well, no, green is out. I don't like the green. Although it's called green pot. I don't know why it's called green pot, but it's called green pot. That's what William Sonoma, it's called beauty. Uh, see the inspiration. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. I mean, it's pretty when you see the green pot with food in it, but, you know, but whatever. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to think, is the white going to be hard to clean? Well, it's the outside is the white. It's not the Yeah, inside. but everything gets on the outside. That's true. So do you think on the outside it's going to get all black from the fire and then, you know, from no, the No, it's not going to get black from the fire. It's just going to get it from if you're not, you got to wash them really good all the time. I would say the white because the white is pretty. The white is pretty. Isn't it pretty? If you're, if you're going to go for stainless steel, then yeah. go for the Cousinat set. Because the uh, I'm telling you, the Cousinat set. All right, is I'll, really look those up. I'll look those up later. But anyway, everybody seems to be going for the white. So Martha's <laughs> you only live once. That's right, Martha. Thank you. Tony said, I, is Tony saying stainless? The white will get stained, especially if gas. See, and I do have gas. You're right. That's what I was afraid of is the gas stove. Yeah, but what's on the bottom of the white? Is it white on the bottom or is it a different color? Let me see. Because sometimes they put a stainless steel thing on the bottom. All right. Let me see if I can see. I don't know if I can see. Do you have gas or electric or I forgot? Gas. I'm cooking with gas over here, babe. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. He's going to have long pointy feet. Ceramic. Oh, pointy feet. See, it looks like it's white, June. Okay. Because look. Wait. Jesus. No, can't say. All right, wait, 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 wait. Sometimes there we go. Well done. Let's see if I can get it up here. Hey? Well, it's white. Yeah, it looks like it's white. I don't see the bottom of them, Martha. I'm trying to to look and see if it's got the bottom. I guess I would have to go and see them in person in order to know Ashley, that. Ashley made a good thing. That, does it say? Is there? A oh, you know what? It is. It is on the bottom, the color, because I just looked at the uh, the green one. See, like, look at the green one and the bottom. It goes around the bottom and the bottom screen. OK, so Ashley says, can you see reviews? Did they put reviews? Oh, you know what? That's a good idea, Ashley. You know, that's always something that I should check on. I haven't. Um... Hi, Michael. Glad you made it. Mike's here? Yeah. Oh, Mike hi, here. Mike. How are you? Mike, we're discussing pots. Not pot. you, you were missing a lot of discussions. Here. Yeah, we have a lot to talk about here. We're I'm coming, very, very busy. I'm coming to New York for Christmas. You just, I'll catch you up. Coming to New York for Christmas. Junie's <laughs> making shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking about pots. And Ashley won the, the witch, and the witch's name is, and I forgot it because Ember, Ember. 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 Ember, E with an E. E, Ember, and it's going out as sometime this week, Ashley. Congratulations again. Yes, fabulous. And we're trying to find out what color of Stanley Tucci spots Corey should buy. Yes, you weren't here for the for the for the reveal here, Michael, but um <laughs> <laughs> Anthony was watching your pot. <laughs> <laughs> Michael says, That's I right. miss a lot. Let's focus. I'm high 
Jack in this. No, no, no. Let's focus on the shoes. The shoes are what we're here for. The shoes. Okay. The it's shoes, right. the Paul McClay, the Paul McClay, I'm going to bake them and glue them on because he falls a little bit because he's a little heavy with all the sand. He's got a big head. That's why. But, no, the head is the head is light. Oh. <laughs> all right. Oh, Joanne has a set of Wolf, a Wolfgang Puck she's had for 15 years. Still looking good and cooking great stainless steel. See, that's why. That's what I'm thinking. The stainless won't get dirty on the bottom. I'm afraid the white is going to definitely get dirty. Yes. Well, okay, Penny, I have, a, I, I have a set of copper pots that we have to clean all the time. And we really that's what William clean. wanted, June. William wanted copper pots. I said, no, absolutely, no, no, no. Not. No, I said, no, absolutely because... not. I said, do you know how difficult they are to keep clean? I said, they're beautiful when they're clean, but it's a pain in the ass. I said, no, no there's no. You, cannot, you, got, Cora, you got to make sure that it's stainless steel lines. But a lot of copper pots are tin lines and you're not supposed to cook in tin. That's why uh, my, my don't, they don't even make mine anymore. Copper oh, Chef, wow. the ma Magic Chef, or whatever, whatever yeah, Chef. Yeah, is. yeah, Magic Chef. They don't even make mine anymore. They make, and then they made it for a long time with the stainless steel, not the brass, and it just didn't look as nice. Yeah, got it. But see, Megan is going to get those pots. So Which I have to get myself a new set of pots. Oh, she wants the she wants the copper ones. Okay, yeah, she's getting the copper pot. That's right, Penny. Cooking is an art of love. What you cook in the vessel of love. That very very good. Except when you can't stand who you're cooking for. Well, there. Then you put a little bit of arsenic in. No, only kidding. Okay, so Martha says she bought a red set, copper inside. That's pretty. Yeah, I'm wondering. You know what, Penny? They're already on sale. <laughs> I mean, they're they're from eight yeah. something. I'm to looking six so nine. much. I bought a red top inside. Oh, nice. Maybe the holiday <laughs> inside. Those shoes are looking great. Thank you, Joanne. Yeah, they might go on sale closer to Christmas. Yes, I'm trying to remember. I'm getting um, have to read all of those things. All of what things? Oh, the comments. Oh, I'm reading them. I'm trying to keep you abreast, but you're not listening to me. I told you about the red pot. <laughs> <laughs> what do I ever listen? I read that. Well, that's true, too. All right. Well, okay, well, you know what? I went downstairs what? to get this for you so you can see going back about 14 conversations ago. What? Here's the bottle. For oh, all right. Wait a second. Wait, I can't oh, I get can't. it. Here. Can you see I it? I can't see. Now, oh, Mo Moody, M U T T I. M U T T I. It's solo pump, only tomatoes, tomato puree, oh, fresh tomatoes nice. pureed right at the field, right at the field. You from see that? That's no, wait, 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 from Parma? Yes, listen. Oh my God, that's so fabulous. All right, well, I got to be in the What did it gotta, say? Huh? I it says honest. manufactured, it has ingredients, tomatoes and Mediterranean sea salt, like that matters. Okay. Nice. It's from Parma, Italy. Oh my Parma God. Of Italy. Fabulous. All right. All okay. Right. So that you got to listen to the story. Go ahead. <laughs> Corey. <laughs> I'm trying to look, I'm trying to see it. I'm trying to write it down. Here. I'll send you a picture. Now send me a picture. All right, good, good. Thanks to an innovative mobile production plant, the In Insta Factory Muti M U T T I Muti Muti has yeah. shortened the distance between farm and factory, between harvesting and processing, to capture the taste and aroma of the tomato at the moment of perfect ripeness. You know what, June? And what I just pictured was mommy in the field. She used to always tell us that she would go into the field and pick the tomato right off the vine and she would eat it in the it's field like a, like a banana. I, like now a banana. listen to this. Yeah. Tomato variety, they tell you what tomato variety is and the farm. And I could now this 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 made me feel like why did we well we didn't have a choice. We sold the farm in Parma. This could be coming from the farm. Listen, I didn't want to sell the farm. When mommy said they were going to sell, I said, don't sell, don't sell, don't sell. Because to tell you the truth, I would, yeah, I'd would, i be moving there today if there was still property over there. Okay, but that could have been, that could be coming from the farm. I know, it could be from, 
That's what I'm saying. It's probably the farm where mommy grew up and she would pick it off and she'd have a little salt in her hand and she put a little salt on the tomato and eat the tomato like it was an apple in the field. She used to tell us that all the time. Just a little blast from the past. <laughs> Penny said she's she's probably spent thousands of dollars on pots and pans over the course of 40 plus years. She should have just bought real cookware back years ago. See, that's how I feel, Penny. It's like I buy a pot here, a pot there. You know, like I never bought a set of pots. And I thought at this point in my life, even if I don't cook, <laughs> I, should have a set, I should have a set of pots that, are, that look pretty. So maybe I want to cook because then maybe I want to take them out and maybe I want to feel like, you know, a chef. I don't know. <laughs> That's right, Penny. There's nothing better than a tomato off the vine, still warm from the sunshine. Oh, my God. Is that beautiful? That's wonderful. Except for all the bugs that hang out in the garden. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Did you put a damper on everything? Jesus. Yes. Yes, because I'm anti-bug. Okay? I am currently no anti-bug. There's no bugs <laughs> in Italy where they're planting the tomatoes. No bugs. Oh, there's no bugs because no I, bugs. Had, I had a, a garage sale on Saturday and you would have been laughing because I had the broom for the squirrel and the fly swatter for the mosquitoes and the wasps. Okay. I look like a crazy person. More than normal, may, may I just say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. So what should I get? Should I get the stainless steel then because it's got a, stuff on the bottom or should I get the white? Now well, I'm... More Cora, you want the white. I know you want the white, but it's going to get messed up. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't want it like, because if I have to use Brillo, maybe the white will come off. So I don't no, think just, I you can't use Brillo on those pots. Oh, well, how do you get them clean? You wash them right away and, and, and use maybe a plastic scrubby, not, not oh. Brillo. All right. All right. All right. Penny said she had a pineapple that she got to pick herself from the plantation in Hawaii. It was still warm from the sun. She swears to God uh, she could taste the sunshine. Oh, that's so nice. That visual, Penny, of you picking that pineapple. I love pineapple. Oh, Martha said, I try picking tomatoes down in Arkansas and not thinking of them black. <laughs> Black widow spiders hanging around in there. Yuck. Oh my God. I killed a spider today. Wait, okay. Joanne still wait, wait, wait. Joanne still has tomatoes producing tomatoes. Oh, nice. So she had a garden this year. She was gardening this year. So she has the what kind of tomatoes did you put? Do the plum or the, the beefsteak or the grape? Okay. I can move this back. What? Or the cherry. I love your negativity. Thank you, Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> After all, it is close to Halloween. Oh, you don't know. Cora, what no, I do. I got doing. black nail polish to be in season. No, I'm not putting any black nail polish on. Come on, I don't put nail polish. Ugh. No, I said I have black. <laughs> oh, you have black nail <laughs> Yes. <laughs> wait, 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 that's the only thing you're going to do. That's it. That's my Halloween. This is Halloween for me. Hello. <laughs> trick or treat. And when the kids come to the door, if they don't know how to say trick or treat, like if they just open their bag, because that's what they do nowadays, nobody says trick or treat anymore. I don't give them shit. <laughs> they we're already but we're very festive. But okay, we're very I need to bottle of clay. I'm going to put a skeleton on the door, maybe the day before, and uh, then... I'll have some can. I'll have some candy. I may have a pumpkin. I don't know. We'll see. Are you gonna do? I even brought some more pumpkin tools because I lost one. I think I threw out my pumpkin tools, so I had to go get more. Well, we have a pumpkin patch that they're putting up down the street, so I'm gonna drive by and see if they have a nice pumpkin. If there's a sincere pumpkin in there, because you know, Daddy used to always get me the most sincere pumpkin in the pumpkin patch. So, and and I was yelling at William the other day because this is a tradition, right? And I have to spend some time in the pumpkin patch and listen to those pumpkins talk to me. And so he gets, he gets like impatient. Come on, pick a pumpkin, pick a pumpkin. And I'm like, this is a process. Oh, this, you can't rush the pumpkin picking. This is what I'm saying. So this is, this is a process and they, you know, you have to take your time and get the most sincere pumpkin and they, you just walk up and down and you look at them. And when you find the right one, you know, 
Well, I I always have like maybe two. So then I get very confused. Oh, oh get, so, then get both of them. Get both of them. Yeah, sometimes I have. Yeah, I have. That's I, all. I have more pumpkins. But then what I usually try to do is get a pie pumpkin. So that way, because I like to have, I like to puree. Oh, Every oh, year I puree the pumpkin and use it for one thing. And I have pumpkin all over the place that I never use. Now we're missing chat. Okay. Three different yep, varieties. Hair, wait. Anthony says stainless. It's timeless. Why it will go out of style eventually. Yeah. That's what I was thinking, Tony. That's why, that's why I was thinking about, yeah, the white then wood. We, then we have three different varieties, heirloom, beefsteak, and one other I don't like to check. Oh, she's got heirloom, heirloom fried nice. tomatoes. Nice. Very nice. Definitely need a snake. In the garden. Yeah, that's why in the gardens with the with the spiders and everything. Forget it. Oy. Yeah. Okay. So oh. we talked about the, where did Mike go? Mike, Mike, came for, Matt, Mike came for a minute and then he left. Yeah, what minute. happened? Mike, what happened? I got to put started it talking. We started talking pots and he left. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm just, I just have to roll some more clay. Sorry, I'm not going to move you again unless you want to watch me roll clay. Okay, here you can watch me roll clay. Do you okay. want to see me? No, you can't see me. Stainless is like a generic finish. I know everyone has them. That's right, Penny. That's why I'm thinking, shoot. You know, I have other, the pots that I have now are like silver and I'm like, uh, nothing special. But I thought the white ones would be pretty. My tomato plants petered. Oh, Joanne says two of her tomato plants petered out. But the one that's left is about six feet wide. Holy mackerel along the fence. Oh, she was really gardening this year. Yeah, she's never seen a, a tomato plant that took over a half of it took over half the yard. Oh my God, Joanne, that's fabulous! You should be canning them, jarring them, whatever you do. Ew. Oh, there's Michael. He's back. He doesn't have much input on pots. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Michael, you didn't see the colors. Wait, tell me which color to get. I, I'm wondering if the men are all going to stick together and say the same color. Hold on. Hold on, Michael. I'm going to pull it up in a minute here. So these are Stanley Tucci's pots, and they come in green. Hold on. Let me. Green, stainless, and white with, with gold. And I was debating about the color white or the stainless steel. And there's pros and cons for both, but yeah, that's my dilemma. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You know what? Yeah, when I'm not cooking, I can actually hang the pots up or put florals in them as, uh, yeah, see, as decorations. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, they, they're sticking together. The men are sticking together. Oh, Michael says stainless steel. No, now he said white. Oh, you see, Michael? <laughs> All white ones are elegant. That's right, Penny. That's what I was thinking. They're elegant, aren't they? Because look, I don't, I don't cook that much anyway. So, like, why not just pull out the elegance, right? I could just put them on the top of the stove, like one or two, just to kind of like make it look like I'm co I cook. Ay, <laughs> ay, ay. I wonder if they do get stained. I'm gonna have to look, like you said, on the um on the uh the comments and see whether or not people have rated them and stuff, the ratings. Uh, Penny said yes they are, are crisp and clean looking like spring see that's what I like so I think I don't know see the silver the silver doesn't look it, the silver doesn't look special doesn't, but anyway it is what it is so that's my dilemma big dilemma for today folks gotta tell you so June what are you doing I'm making hands oh in that color no, they, it's all going to get painted. It's just oh, clay. Gotcha. So now, what do you mean? Is that clay right now? Why? Well, yeah, this is clay. Okay. And the shoes are clay? How did you make the shoes? I, I With clay. Okay. I don't know. I just sort of shaped them while we were talking about pots and, and tomato sauce and goodness knows what else. They look great, though. I think they look like, like nice boots. Yes, those are going to, because I need something to stop him from tilting over. And once they bake, I'm going to glue them on. Do you think they're big enough so he won't fall or they need to be a little bigger? 
Oh, they're good. Perfect. They oh my God. Perfect. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They match. Oh yeah, they're the right size for his legs. Okay, good. That looks good. Very good, my sister. It's amazing that we can have all this chatter and you can still work through it all. You know, wow. you have six minutes left, my sister. Six minutes? That's it. It's 5.54. Oh, buy two sets. <laughs> yeah, Tony. $1,200 worth of pots that I don't even cook. <laughs> <laughs> that she doesn't use. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, William, well, definitely. Yucky, yucky you know, <laughs> that's why I was thinking, Penny. You know, like not every brand makes the white with the, you know, like it's different, you know. So that's why I right. thought you'll be cooking that uh, Ali Oya. <laughs> yeah, I'm going. <laughs> that's the only thing I'm going to make in the freaking pot. I'm going to make Ali Oya, and that's it. And then yeah, I'm going to retire the pot. For the people, I'm going to retire the, the pot. <laughs> 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 that's right, Penny. I'll hang them if I don't use them. Oh, gosh. That's, that's cool. right. You want elegance, right? If you're paying money like a mortgage for, <laughs> for <laughs> Right, Penny. Okay. This is going to be, this is a knitting needle. This is going to be his little staff. So I'm just putting a hole through one Easy. of the polymer clay things before I bake it. <laughs> Penny says, or get some cheapy stainless steel and paint them and hang them. <laughs> June would have to paint them for me because I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to do it. I, I'm sure I'd mess that up. We'll spray paint them. We'll bring them in the backyard and spray paint Oh, we can do that. Yeah, we can spray paint them. <sighs> but I have a question, June, because you know all about this stuff. Can I spray paint or paint paint over rust in like the outside furniture is like rusting or do I have to, do I have to um, sand it first? I think you have to sand it first, Cora, and then put like a, 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 what do you call that? A first coat on something? A primer? Primer, yeah. Uh, so it doesn't rust again when you put paint on it because the water or the liquid in the paint will rust it through. Uh, I have, a, what's the matter? I like rust. I like the color of rust. Yeah, I know, but I just don't like it on my, on some of the, like on the chairs and stuff. It's kind of like, yeah. Yeah, no, you have to, Penny yeah. Says, Penny says he's already cute. Aww. Thank you, Penny. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna spray them. One yeah, says the garlic and one says <laughs> Martha <laughs> says sand it. Thank you, Martha. Sand it. That's all you really want to. See, that was good, Ashley. Sand them and use Rustoleum paint. Does Rustoleum paint come in all colors, Ashley? Do you know? Yes. <laughs> Tony, this is not like I'm Jewish and I have special pots. <laughs> Tony says, buy one set for garlic and one set for garlic free. <laughs> oh, Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh, my God. Get the rust rust paint. Just use a steel brush on them to get the loose stuff off. Got it. And I don't know if Rustoleum rust paint comes in different colors. I know Rustoleum comes in a lot of different colors. Okay, well, I need black. So it should come in black, right? Rustoleum paint comes in black. Yeah, you have all sorts of Rustoleum paint in black, but I don't know if it comes in the if you have I don't know anything about the rust paint because I like rust. So I don't okay. know if you have to spray, spray it with the rust paint first yeah. and then the black. Yeah. The gals are telling me to sand and or use the uh a steel brush. You know, so I got to get off the, the stuff that's not, the stuff that's loose so that this way when I paint it, it doesn't get involved in the paint, I guess. Okay, wait. Uh, and then uh, Penny says rust -Oleum has all types you need and hundreds of colors. So that's great. Perfect. Thank you, Penny. Find locations that sell them. She says, go to the, the website and choose your favorite color and then find locations that sell it. Perfect. Home Depot. Yes. Tony is on a roll tonight. I noticed Tony is on a roll. Yeah, he's been quiet for a little bit. Now all of a sudden. Tonight, we bought him out of his shell, Tony. Okay, okay, 58. This is it. I'm done. I'm switching over. Hold on. I was going to say. Only two minutes. I know. I'm switching over. I am, I am finished. Yay. I think I hear William pulling up. Okay. 
All right, let me get this off because it's like blaring in my eyeballs. There, woo! Well, my sister. What? Where are we? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> We're here. I think. Oh, well, I can't see with that light. I turned it off, and now I can't see anything. Whoopie woof. Oh, you know what, Cora? Wait, wait, wait. Stanley, Stanley Tucci, huh? <laughs> Stanley Tucci. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Yes. Everybody. They know Stanley Tucci, don't they know Stanley Tucci? I'm sure everybody knows Stanley. How come all, all of a sudden I got so dark? Oh. oh, there you go. Oh, oh, that's a little freaky. Okay. It's Halloween. Come in. It's not Halloween yet. It's a Halloween month. Oh, it's the month. Which right, Penny? I know. I love his shows, too. Everybody's talking about his shows now. So sorry that I hide <laughs> Joanne said, fun time tonight with you, sisters. That's my <laughs> sister. You got that. Okay. What was I going to say? You didn't give us the, the words of wisdom. You got oh, it. I don't have time. I don't know. I can't find it. No, I'll, I'll, I'll do it twice next week. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Next week I'll be on, but I think the week after I won't be around. So, where are you going? Uh, I'm going away with Megs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I honestly I need to get the floor. to this stuff on my table here and stop typing. Okay, Penny. <laughs> all right, all right. So, listen, uh, listen. We're done. Listen. Oh. Uh -uh. What do I, what did I always used to say? And then it was like, look. Yeah, it was look. 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 June sent a pick. June sent a pick. Oh. Thank you, Martha. I didn't know what was going on here. I wasn't sure. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. We can't go. Oh. Joanne says good night. Good night, Joanne. Where? Why? What are you sending? Oh, this. What is I'm that? Chairs. Chairs in green. Those are nice. What are you getting them? They're very pretty. Are you Are you buying them? I'm not sure. Oh, all right. I like that. furniture she had a she had a paint. She oh, did a good job, paint. Martha. Nice. Nice work, Martha. Nice. I like that color. Yeah, me too. Okay. They were your dads. All right. Uh, I'm glad that you were able to use them. All right, I'm gonna say good night to everybody. I'm good so night, glad you had a nice old chat. We'll chat with you next week. Okay, see you next week. And as always, have fun creating beauty. Love you guys. Bye. Good night. Are we staying on, June? Yeah, just for just a second. Just let me end.